also I have another one right here pretty unique table uh, forever much whatever they called it but this one it's really big oh wow it's also electric I forgot I was there so much stuff it's like mystery stuff once I get stuff so you got it here forever much table lighter on off right here so on and this will actually light up electric part for a few seconds whenever you pull it out and it seems to be kind of like a magnetic or it just locks in and every time you pull it out you see the electronic um, lighter arc lighter will light it up so let's fill it up so let's press it on off and we'll need a screwdriver to unscrew that it will take lighter fluid so go like this So we're going to fill it up a little bit. Usually forever matches have a striker that you have to replace at some point or it will run out. This one, it just has electronic arc lighter. So press on on and boom. It will automatically shut off. So saturate it in there. Okay, whenever it's on off, nothing will happen. You see it? Looks like it's burned off and the extra stuff. And whenever you press it on on, it will turn it on every time. So yeah, definitely one of a kind uh, forever match. Also arc lighter combined together. You just lift it up, arc lighter shuts down and I need to fill it up more. That way it will burn longer. Okay, again, off, nothing happens. Press on, boom. Lighting up pretty good. Yeah, it's filled very nice. And as you can see here, you don't have to worry about flaming. Maybe there is a little bit residual sometimes burning it off. But it is a nice wick right here and it's pretty heavy. Then you gotta make sure you plug it in all the way. Boom. A nice flame over here, very, very saturated, burning really well. Wow. So yeah, there you go, forever much. Nice soft flame. And you press it off for safety. Got it here, another brass lighter that is very, very interesting. Looks like they give me a bunch of parts for it. Cool. So yeah looks huge doesn't it so it's more like a table lighter and it's really really heavy because it's a big block of brass so it looks like i gotta open it like that how do you open well you're supposed to grab it by here boom and it opens okay and then strike it like that i guess wow interesting i just buy stuff uh, because they look cool and figured out how it works most of the time later Okay, looks like we're gonna refill it like that. Got it here, lighter fluid, beautiful. Gonna take a lot of lighter fluid, that's for sure. Don't think there will be much evaporation problem here. We got a big screw and there's lots of tiny screws holding everything together. Uh, again, I just forget how to strike it. I thought I would strike it as soon as I would take it out, but I guess not so take it out open it strike it you got right here a lighter light like that uh, and it closes whenever you kind of close it down so you kind of have to hold it this way the whole time so this brass lighter is just one of a kind it'll burn this way but i think the most you gotta hold it this way what do you guys think so unique i love the design of all this little like I don't know like a cage almost tubes not the easiest thing to open it but once you open it pretty easy strike it again you kind of have to hold it like this let me know in comments below what do you think about this brass lighter so unique nothing special just opens like that and strike inside of it so I guess somewhat special it's definitely very weird design but nothing special, there's no unique mechanism that is striking it every time you open in it. That's what I thought it was going to do. But that works too. All it is is just a case, so that way there is no vibration. There is another pretty amazing lighter I found on eBay. Let's see what this thing is all about. This is actually pretty small. 
So pretty small and compact, but what's so unique about it, you fold it like that and then you stack it like that. Now that it folds together, it actually very comfortable to hold it like that and stack it. So yeah, uh, let's fill it up with the lighter fluid. You see there is a rubber ring to protect it from vibration. Uh, looks like we can do it by hand. Also there is a little like a screw slit that you can use. Okay, I'm going to be using Zippo lighter fluid. With all these lighters, I run out of lighter fluid so fast. Constantly have to buy it, a uh, lighter fluid. Okay, well then open it and stack it. The drum is really, really tiny. What happened is that lighter fluid haven't traveled all the way to the bottom. That's why it's not sparking yet. Usually you want to give it a minute or so. Uh, looks like it has to open this way every time. Maybe we just need more lighter fluid. Again, I love it that you can untwist it by hand. I was trying to be conservative and not use up all of the lighter fluid so later I don't have any. And it's okay. We want to make a video of it. Okay, this is pretty full and saturated. It is pretty long lighter, all that lighter fluid have to travel all the way up, up here. And there you go. So yeah, very, very unique lighter, don't you guys think? Whenever you want it to turn off, just lock it in. You see how this way it won't open, so you gotta open it every time this way. Check this out, so unique. Um, let's see. So it's a little bit wiggly, so you gotta hold it together like that, light it, and then you can hold it by one end like that. So this is kind of interesting how it's just hanging off like that. So you have almost like a little much. Well, not a little one, pretty thick one. So whenever you're ready to shut it off, boom. One more time, grab it like that. You can hold it together like that too, so that way that little tube is not in the way either. One more time, close position. Oh, you need a lighter, no problem. I got a folding lighter. There you go, folding lighter. I should call it world first folding lighter. Just come up with that. So yeah, a very reliable, easy to unscrew. Um, seems to be like a brass lighter, another one. I really liking this lighter. So hope they continue inventing very unique lighters like that because I like collecting them. Boom. Left hand, right hand, very comfortable. And put it away. Amazing. And it will not open by itself. It sits in a really nice and it clicks. Do you hear it? Got it here, pretty unique lighter. Stayed from China. So let's see what we got. So yeah, this is something that I never seen before. This is, looks like a brass lighter. There is a burn for it. So whenever you pull it out, as you can see, it will strike it at the same time. So where will they hold the uh, lighter fluid is over here, which is really unique. I guess we pretty much deepen the wick into the lighter fluid. So let's fill it up. Okay, it's saturated. And then we're gonna close it off. This is nice hand tightening screw. There's no button you can spark. All you have to do is just pull it out like that and it will spark it. It almost looks like forever much, except you are dipping the wick into here. Wow, is it magnetic? I don't think so, but it sits in there really, really good. And pretty tight. Boom. Lights every single time. I love it. And how does this work? It does reset it, you see? So that's what happened. I guess it lifts it and then uh, let's go uh, with that little bar inside of it. So that is so unique. Check this out. So whenever you put it in, pretty easy, locks in. Uh, you need to light up the lighter. Boom. Amazing. 
and pretty easy to replace the flint just unscrew this uh, little screw and there will be a spring with the flint just simple as that again burst lighter pretty hefty to me it's a really high quality uh, wow just an amazing piece that i never seen before pretty sure this is kind of like a new invention sometimes they do get inspired by vintage lighters boom works every time and it's a nice big soft flame uh, the wig might burn off a little bit over time you probably could replace it pretty easily this week over here and as you can see the stool rubber ends probably uh, keeps it from vibrating the lighter but every so often you will have to refill it even if you don't use it a lot of times these lighters do have the vibration because it's a lighter fluid lighters uh, if you don't want vibration you probably better get yourself a propane or butane lighter I mean boom so works every single time as you can see two piece lighter over here one of a kind for sure so definitely makes it to my weird lighter collection yeah and I love these brass lighters a lot it just works flawlessly every single time and you don't have to like keep spinning it opening it just take it out, ready to go. Got it here, a mini lighter with this little flipper and side striker and a really long one or large lighter. This is more like, I guess, a table lighter, but I guess it can hold a lot of uh, lighter fluid. And this one will be a little bit less lighter fluid. Obviously to replace the flint, you just take this out and check this out there's a flint so as you can see super easy to replace flint and as you can see this is a two finger lighter just squeeze it in between your fingers boom okay let's refill it grab yourself some kind of multi-tool screwdriver when you unscrew it be careful you don't want to scratch it up the bottom of the lighter because you're going to devaluate them and sometimes they do get vintage and go up in value and same thing right here, except it's a full hand lighter. That's beautiful. And to replace the flint the same way, uh, just unscrew it right here. Okay, let's unspin it. Is it really gonna be, wow, that's gonna be a lot of lighter fluid holding in here. Look at that whole tube. So I have, I guess I have to hold it upside down for a while so the lighter fluid goes all the way down but I filled it up quite nicely let's check out this lighter again stick it between two of your fingers uh, flip it open stack it beautiful then adjust it this is such a fun tiny mini lighter I love that for like a survival backpack or whatever everyday carry this is just very convenient because it's so small but this one is more like, I guess, for your house or you can be putting it onto survival backpack because if you fill it up all the way, it's not going to run out anytime soon. And I'm pretty sure the vibration is not too bad here. Okay, let's try it out. Boom. So if you need to light up a candle, you have a little bit of reach. For example, you know, you can dip into it just like that. Got it here, another brass lighter. This thing is quite hefty, I love it. Everyday care, whatever. So it has this right here, just a cover. And I think they call the pipe lighters over here. You see there's a hole through and there's a couple of ventilation holes. And this thing is solid heavy. I, I don't know, at least a couple of ounces for sure. I would say up to five ounces, easy. It's so heavy, I love it. Nice, look at that. Pretty much solid brick over here. Not worried about this lighter breaking or anything like that. Saturate the lighter real quick and then we're gonna close it back up. Okay, to operate this lighter, you have to lift it first and then stack it. Check this out. That's beautiful. From this side, from this side. And then close it for this thing to uh, turn off. I would say this mostly from this side. Stack it, you see the flame is closer to this side. 
I guess this side works too, but I think it's mostly for the ventilation, so you want to use it like that. That's quite unique. What do you guys think? Then I have here uh, like a vintage, kind of beat up a little bit, looks like a camera lighter. So this one is a little bit newer. This couple buttons actually work. And this is propane lighter. So let's just fill it up a little bit. Okay, after so many years, feels it good. Okay, now let's take a picture. After a minute, it's usually starting to work properly after you fill it. So yeah, this is a pretty cool vintage novelty lighter, kind of fun. No, it's not working. So it just kind of old, you gotta have to press it, hold it for a little bit, and then just click it a couple of times. There you go. Super unique lighter, that's for sure. And this lighter is kind of nice, uh, so yeah, I bought it for my collection. There is burned of it, so yeah, leather. And it almost, where you can hold it like this, flat, or like this. But except now it's not wonder work. There you go. Probably new flint over there, gotta round it up. I kind of like it because it's still very skinny, just like a regular design, but lights up horizontally, but seems to be this way too. Let's try it out. So also this is a lighter fluid lighter. This side here is for the flint and this side here is for the lighter fluid. Fill it up real quick. Prince Garden, I think it says, uh, Japan. Okay. Boom. Check this out. Now this way. So I guess you could use it this way too. You see the flame coming out too? But yeah, I think this is mostly to light it this way. It's just kind of very unique, like long and flat. Has a very, very big button to it too. Have to press it nice and firmly. 